mean, they scored 50 points in a couple games. Uh-huh. Uh, it shows that they can score a will. Uh, they got a great offense. They got a quarterback that makes plays, and they got receivers out wide that can make things happen. So we got a big challenge coming up on Thursday, but we should be up to it. They've given up some turnovers. Is that mm -hmm. kind of, you know, something you see on film maybe? Uh, well, you see the film. Uh, he throws the ball and covers a couple times, but he makes good, great reads as well. So you just got to get him right, uh, send some blitz at him every now and then and try to get him move his feet. This is a bigger stage, right? ESPN, uh -huh. national game. What does yeah. that mean to you? Oh, it means a lot to show the world that we can go out there and play a little football. Um, Thursday night, big time game. It should be fun so everybody can see what we can do. What kind of atmosphere do you expect? Uh, we expect a great atmosphere. We know the, uh, Papa John's going to be packed, so it should be fun to have a night game. How do you prevent from coming out so sluggish? How do you kind of get off to a better start? Um, I think we should come out to a great start. Usually we have them play at 12 o'clock, so now we get a little more time to get our minds right, uh, ready for the game. So we should be focused and ready to go. You guys don't give up a lot of run uh, on the ground. They don't give up a lot of, on the ground. Uh -huh. You kind of see, is it like a battle against run defenses on Thursday night? Um, Hopefully not. Hopefully Teddy can put a little points on them so uh, they have to throw the ball and get out of their game a little bit. So hopefully uh, we get points up and have to get them out of their game. Game. When you get a lead, is, does it make it easier on a defense because you kind of know they have to throw to get back in it? Yeah, we know they're a little one-sided when Teddy and them go out and put 21 points in the quarter, so that's what our mindset is. Hopefully they go out there, we get a little stop, and then they go out there and put points on the board so we can get them out of their offense. You guys have given up fewer first downs, fewer points than anybody in the country. It's pretty impressive. Do you sit back and, and – Marvel of that? Oh, uh, yeah. You go back and look at it and say, yeah, we're doing pretty good so far, but we got a long way to go. We're only playing five games, so we got a long way to go. So hopefully we can keep it up throughout the whole year. Question, how far has this defense come as far as building the coach building program? Mm -hmm. You're missing guys like Brown and Brooks who would have been starters a couple yeah. years ago. You wouldn't have been able to overcome that. Probably, yeah. Uh, it just shows that the depth we have in the program now, we can throw guys in there and still go out there and make great plays as they've been doing so far throughout the year. So it just shows that we've been recruiting better and getting guys in here that can step up at any moment. Charlie says you're all the best team in the country. Uh huh. All oh, it means a lot. That's what we go out and pray every day at practice. We feel like we're the best team in the country. We got to show it on Thursday. He spent a couple of years saying that you know you're not good enough yet. You're mm -hmm. not the elite program yet. I mean. He you know, he's pretty honest with you the yeah. last couple of years. For him to say, best team in the country. Uh-huh. Uh, it means a lot coming from him because he told us that we weren't much when I first got on campus. So it feels good to show that um, he thinks we're the best team in the country. Do you think that you're the best team in the country? Oh, yeah. I think we're the best team in the country. And yeah, hopefully after Thursday, a lot of more people will know.